Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 First Round Match, A Lizard Man Mirror. What a treat we have for you. Ducky versus Zetok. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello, how are you, Jim? Oh, I'm fantastic, thank you. Excellent stuff. I'm how super are you, excited sir? Oh, great, yeah, really good. Getting set for Christmas. And um, what could be better? than a lovely lizard mirror uh, that we're all really, really excited to watch. Oh. So, um, two pretty nice teams. Uh, do you want to make some comments on uh, on Ducky's team? Yeah, um, Ducky has gone block mighty um, as his progression for Saurus. Uh, somebody like Trific really loves just going block guard instantly, but uh, Ducky has played the long game of going block guard so that he can have block guard mighty blown all of his Saurus. Um, Zetok has done the same, except he hasn't got to guard or has taken something else. So Zetok's yeah. team has one guard on the Saurus, on, on the Croxigo, the Croc, yes. and uh, Ducky's team has loads of guard. Oh, he's got he's got a second guard because of silly Billy. He's also got a wizard and a bribe and a babe. So he's a lot of uh, like loads of TV down. But I mean, Ducky's team's really really nice. Loads of TV. Oh well, there we go. Not so nice now. Instantly wow. banged out. Wow! So just instant apple as well. Apple. Probably so one go. of the worst. Stores, but yeah, because he does have a couple of absolute lads uh, with the bludge that bludge guard stand firm. Mm -hmm. Um which is uh, pretty spectacular on Saurus. Uh, but yeah, a huge disparity in the teams with the fact that not only is Silly Billy there, but also the Wizard and the Bribe and the Babe. Yeah. Uh, so there's some nice looking Skinks as well on both sides. Uh, probably Zedox Skinks are a little bit nicer even. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, uh, sorry, they're not. No, uh, they're not at all. Uh, sorry, Ducky's, Ducky's Skinks are much better because he's got a... Um, he's got a block sure hands, which is absolutely lovely, and he's got an edge up as well. Mm. Um, so, so two really nice games, both of whom are, are in the fight already. But, uh, but yeah, down a lad is pretty annoying. Um, Crocs went down as well, uh, pretty annoying, but um, willing to get himself stuck in here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful break tackle, last action of the turn, wow. just to reinforce and get away from everything else. So. But a lot of hits here, so if, if Zetok can roll well with all these mighty blows, like if he can generate the hits, which he can, yes, and if he, he can, can roll well, oh my god, there's another removal. Oh, wow, so down two Saurus in two turns. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty fucking tragic. That's not where you want to be. And uh, oh, another big, big one coming in. Yeah, well, it does get the tackle mighty on the... But it's the shader of the, uh, of the, of oh, the skinks. No. Oh, wow. So early reroll burn here to uh, base that other guy. Uh, looks like he's kind of anxious to score really quickly, which seems surprising given the fact that he's very much in control of everything that's going on here. Yeah, that was a very strange yeah. turn. Did not like yeah, you've that. Yeah, so you've got your you've you've got a numbers advantage immediately, and then kind of anxious to go downfield, which seems yeah. strange. I would have definitely punched. I would have definitely just blitzed this guy with my yeah. e blow and just yeah. hit kill kill the Saurus. Fuck killing the skins. You've got a Saurus advantage. Keep pa keep pa keep, keep smashing them. The armor, their armor, their armor eight. Uh, their armor yeah. like their armor eight with my when you've got my e blow right. So mm -hmm. you can you can smash them down and you've already started mm -hmm. chipping away at them. So just keep going for Saurus and then and eventually he won't be able to protect his skinks very well and then you can really go attack the skinks but like at the end of the day you really want Saurus advantage is the, is the key thing 100% especially with the fact that like he already has a Saurus advantage with the inducement of Silly Billy yes so um, that's pretty strong so um, with all of that on board uh, it means that he's got a bench as well which means that he can continue picking on uh, some of these uh, Saurus uh, wait till they get on the ground and start following them with, with his uh, shitty things oh, well there you go tackle did a thing there though so didn't, didn't get a removal but... no and did eventually manage to get Silly Billy down but uh, he just stands straight back up because Stan Firm is a piece of shit <laughs> he's so good he's so great I love Silly Billy he's fantastic yeah. Bit of a dodgy uh, Crocs activation here. If it fails, it's going to suck, but probably still do want to do a 2D even though he's got Bludge. Yeah. Um, yeah, he will, yeah. And with that, Blitz um, means that he can't get any further ground, so now he will have to put it in. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, not ideal. Not ideal at all. If we'd managed to, it was a 3D with tackle, uh, with block and tackle, so hoping to manage to get oh, through there. Oh, did he get full power as well. Big mighty blow hit. 
I like the cage here so we can't just blitz in and base with the crocs. It is very nice, yeah. Nice little cage there from the Zetok. Yeah, because it makes that very, very hard to get in. Doesn't stand firm there. Hmm. Oh! oh I did, it didn't matter if he had stand firm because. Uh, you just got removed, yeah. He had the two. No, he uh, had the two dice anyway. Oh, yeah, the two got two dice anyway, yeah. Lock does the job. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, did he forget this guy? Oh, no, Zetok, no! Um, He's forgotten this guy. How the turns have tabled, Jim. He's forgotten this guy. Look, he's down a skink. Yeah. He's down a skink from carelessness. Yeah. And yeah, so now for as much as this half has, you know, favoured Zetok until now, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden he's the one almost getting out bashed, right? Um, I know he's yeah. not, but this is permanent. Whereas these, yeah, these two are both coming back. Are back yeah. Oh, and this tackle is having a fucking field day on these skinks, man. Mm -hmm. So, but still doesn't get removed, so it's something at least. But he's managed to shut this down fairly handily. Yep, and, he's remembered uh, him. <laughs> way! <laughs> <laughs> so, I imagine we're going to... Oh, hits from the sideline. That seems very dodgy if it's... A, well, I guess yeah. if it's a push, he'd still follow, but... Um, yeah. Mm. So has yeah, made was, a little was, bit of I, I don't like I don't I don't like correcting people, Ducky. But yes, that wasn't that wasn't actually from tackle in the end. But yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was a one in nine. Another <laughs> one in nine. <laughs> I literally tuned into Artemis earlier on today, and that's exactly what he was shouting. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I was like, perfect. A blockless dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's willing to put in this foul. Gets him. And, uh, yeah, he does. Gets rid of the, the really nice skink. Mm -hmm. is, it a, is it double fours? It's not double fours. Yeah. Of course, if it was double fours, it would have been a badly hurt because it's a skink, but that's not the point. <laughs> I he could have used DP on the armor. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, cool, Bula. So, yeah, just uh, lovely. Has he got somebody to get around here? He's just gonna. It's gonna be some skink on skink violence, surely. Yeah. Mm, do you reckon? No. Uh, no, he's gonna go all around. Got to break tackle. I can break tackle. Fantastic. Yep. That, just... that cage, the non cage there, a little bit risky versus break tackle. <laughs> just because I, uh, I. Uh... I've never taken it, so it hadn't occurred to me. But mm -hmm. it's late in the source's development, it's perfectly fine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is the this is completely the time to take break tackle. Yeah. yeah it's, it's already great. got bludge and it's and got money bow tackle. Like yeah. this is a perfect one. So this Done. one's a bit early taken the break tackle there. Would have rather had tackle on him before the break tackle, but at least it's got bludge and it's got bludge, he's yeah. got guard. Like, you know, yeah. he hasn't got guard either. So, mm -hmm. so he's missing two skills for this one, but obviously this one is fantastic. Mm. Ooh, a death. Well, that hurts. Mm, punishment for Ouch. the early apple. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Well, at least uh, whoever he's playing next isn't getting a wizard, because that skink cost about fucking 300k. <laughs> uh, shit, that's a really annoying loss. Sure hands block skink. Yep. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You're gonna eventually. This is we, we talked about last week about the um, some of the problems with um, with getting lizards all the way through uh, yeah. in this format is that uh, they don't suffer. Um, they don't suffer casually as well. No, they've got they've got no they've got no bad players to take the hits, and mm -hmm. and they're, so they're not only are they fragile in terms of team building, they're also fragile in individual games. Like they've got no. Yeah. No players they can afford to lose, which is just this. This these skinks just cannot dodge. Oh, that, this was diving Ooh, tackle at least. PT, yeah. Wow. With me. I thought he might have just break tackle the score there, Zetok, but obviously he, he knows he's he would just lose two one if he did that. So he's got to he's got to stall yeah. out the half. Yeah, he does. And that yeah. was a pretty nice nice to drop back there. He's still he's, mm -hmm. he's up a lot of players. He Although is, he's, yeah. he's down the quality in City Billy, like, he's, he, well, he's not down the overall quality, but do you know what I mean? Like, his one player that he's missing is super good. Oh, wow, this another break tackle player here from wow. the Duckster. 
So just a push, but he can get him onto another hit. But he's removed so many players, he's, he is very much in control of this drive set, or was. But he has allowed two break tackle hits on the ball. Um, mm -hmm. It was, yeah, the scatter on the sack was brutal, yeah, that, that each probably, really Zetov probably should have been punished for that, uh, allowing that to happen, to be honest, but, you know, a good spot by Ducky is the other alternative. Oh, it? of course, I mean, well, Ducky's such a, such a pro. Mm. Ooh, wow. That was probably just a mistake, I imagine, because, oh, no, maybe he's not, because this is, yeah, it was to get this 2D, but yeah. he could have, he had players free, he could have just done that first. Yeah, indeed. So, maybe, probably just a mistake. But, a you know, it's easy done, control. isn't it? Ugh. It's easy done. It's easy done to like do that thing to two, and then you're like, "Whoops, it's a one." Done that many a time. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess oh, the removal. Wow. Outrageous. Huge. Yeah, Jesus, he's really running shy on players here, Ducky. <laughs> Another pal. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is looking. <laughs> Really but shit. <laughs> pretty Ducky. ridiculously good uh, skink left as well. I mean, yeah, the agility, like it is one of the great things about the team being so good is that his backup ball carrier is an agility for skink, which is pretty great. Yeah, but, well, that, that's the thing, isn't it? That, that, like a lot of the teams, like it, that's another reason to have, like, that good teams are good <laughs> in that they can absorb losses, like not the start yeah. of this, at the start of Chalice when you're like. This you know a two thousand TV team can take some losses and still be good, whereas yeah. that the teams that start off that are eighteen hundred and very efficient. Although that was a team like that that won last season with Singolo. It was, um, yeah. If if you know if they take losses, if they're not that good and they take losses, then they can really be in trouble, can't they? They um, sure can. Like, but you know, obviously, if they have stars, they can still take losses, and as long as their stars survive, they can still win. So it's it's super interesting. I think so. Yeah, it is super interesting. Uh, so can should be able to clear this. Uh, is just a two dive. Get some. Oh, size steps on the ball. Should have followed. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh wow! Out of range though. So yeah. He needs, he needs a handoff threat. He does, doesn't he? So yeah, this this lad has to get into range. Well, oh, he's, he's a skink. He was already in range. Yeah, I'd have one further down as well, especially with the. Uh, I guess this way doesn't. Uh, this way, at least, if he tags the the uh, Saurus, he can still just directly hand off. So you've got one in front and one. Yeah, maybe that's better. I, my my instinct was to put him there, but maybe this is better because mm -hmm. now if you tag, you've got the instant handoff. So now you've got yeah. to tag both of them. And then he can blitz off and hand off the other ones. Ducky's got no fucking place to stop him anyway. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, break tackle yeah. and hit him. Mm-hmm. And should have sidestepped here, right? Yeah, he should have so sidestepped he to here. Exactly. So that he couldn't jump in there. Yeah. Lovely. Ooh, or here. One of those two, but well, mm -hmm. he's done a good job there. Yeah, he really has. Because this is, unless he can clear that all, and uh, one of them is on side sidestep, and the other guy's blodge, so pretty tricky to try to clear them. And <laughs> just roll bows. Mm -hmm. Seems to do the trick. Um, be pretty happy this guy's after getting a level because he could really do it some guard next round. He's not in range, is he? So uh, no. So it's got to be this one. So he's got to just hand off in a tackle zone so four and plus, dodge yeah. through tackle. Uh, you can dodge back, can't he? Dodge back no, and then. I don't think so. The three two. Oh, yeah. cool. There you go. Does that? Does three two, three two two. Not better than the three three. I but don't know that he. I don't know that he could go back. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Like I just don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if he could afford to go oh. backwards for two GFIs, then it is better. Yeah. Yes, it is better. So uh, lovely KO rolls uh, manages to get most everybody back, uh, and of course, having used the Apo on one of the Saurus does get him back immediately. Uh, still has his agility lad to, you know, even if he backlines, this is a pretty straightforward. Doesn't have enough tackle to cover the backline. And mm. he will backline nevertheless because there's no point in trying anything else. Well, when you say it, I think there is a point in trying anything else. You could definitely try and prevent. He's got how many sidesteps? He's got two sidesteps in the stand firm. I think you put You're two. You're quite right. Yeah, I think yep, you put two, two sidesteps side in the, the stand firm on the LOS. Yeah. Yep. 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 And definitely not this LOS. Oh god. 
Oh God. Oh man. You cannot put you cannot put people. Yeah, this is about as easy like as it gets, right? Yeah, you cannot put people side. I by mean, side provided you cannot, he. You cannot ever. No, you can't. There is no but excuse for this. This is terrible. Really this is absolutely, unbelievably terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, not great back. from Ducky, by the way. Mm. Oh wow! Um, saved. Yeah, saved. Not great from yeah. Ducky, by the way, because what the, the the what's really so horrible about this is the subsequent hits that you get to push him forward afterwards. Yeah. Um, and by putting all in there, I, I didn't like this at all. Obviously, this made him weaker to perfect defense as well. But but, but um, yeah, that that didn't look that good for getting follow up hits if the initial all the blocks are pals. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but that looked like mm. there needed to be a, one or two more over this side. In case, um, in case, so you could get it all on piles. It would appear he still thinks he can get this. Uh, he can, yeah, he can. Yeah, cool. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah. So don't stand firm, shove that guy, shove that guy, shove that guy. And yep. then fill that square, and he's filled the other square with the ball carrier as well, so that's his three plus. And uh, he can hit with the Crocs as well to get the take another the GFI guy. up. The other guy can. Yeah. Oh, the other guy can. That's even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lovely. Another nice three days here. Doesn't get the POW, but that's fine because it's a two plus off. But uh, <laughs> it takes away another GFI. So there you go. Gets it, gets it oh. against the thing. Against the P Diddy. P -Diddy. Yeah, P -Diddy. lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful play. Beautiful. The beautiful cars. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Really, really nice, Ducky. Well played, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... But, yeah, Zetok should have done a proper one-turn defense. <laughs> yeah. And, like, he could have then, he could have put, like, the stand firm guy there, right? You know, and just stopped yep. it. Yep. Or just the sidestepper probably stops it. But the, if he put the stand firm there and the sidestepper mm. there, then he just there, definitely yeah. stops it. So that was yeah. that was on Zetok as well, to be honest. Uh, For sure. Yes, well done. Well done, uh, I don't know if we'd said it earlier. Uh, it is Zetok's first time in Chalice as well, so another another uh, Chalice virgin. So well done. Congratulations on getting through. <laughs> and, uh, certainly. I mean, we're talking about <coughs> Matt not relishing the opportunity of having to come up against uh, Talk Talk, who's a perennial... Uh, uh, chalice coach, but uh, certainly Zetok coming up against Ducky yes, in the first round. The perennial is, uh, Chalice winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two time Chalice winner. Ducky. Three time. Three time. Three time. Three time. Three time. Three time. <laughs> That's five time, isn't it? Yeah. Five time. Yeah. Five time. King Booker. Uh, yeah, so he gets the, everything back, really, because, uh, you know, skinks don't really count as players. So he's got everything back. <laughs> All the Soros are back, and yeah, Everything, now it's yeah. looking now it's looking bad for Zetok. It is, Obviously isn't it? One one. Sure, the the quality is likely to to play here with all of the um, all of the guard coming in, and of course, having lost, Silly Billy has lost uh, one of his two guard. Yeah, and he's so, got uh, like Ducky's got seven mighty blow on this team. <laughs> yeah, it's really ridiculous, isn't it? So it's it's a pretty fucking ridiculous yeah. team in terms of like you know. And, like, oh, wow. Let's not, like, I mean, he's been banged out as well, right? Because, I mean, like, he, he, he did have that guy die on him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we should also mention that because the Apo came in there, good Apo, because he would have been down a huge amount of strength and his only guard. So, uh, nice Apo indeed. Uh, but you would maybe question the taking of the bribe uh, when he could have taken an extra Apo. Well, yep. Yeah, I mean, especially as he didn't like, as, especially well. You see, the thing is, here's the thing. Um, but if you go, if you take the extra apple, uh, who are you appoing and how are you winning? Right? Like, how are you beating mm -hmm. Ducky with a team that's 700 TV more than you? <laughs> well, no, not that much. 500 TV more. Sure. Than you. How are you beating him? So maybe you get lucky the first couple of turns with all of your mighty blow, you chip a few Saurus, and then you make massive gang fouls. But he didn't yes. make the massive gang fouls. That was the thing, no, right? He, he, yeah. he had the look at the start, and then yeah. he didn't do the plays to capitalize on it, and he should, sure. have been, he should have been endeavoring to make bigger fouls on offense. So I actually quite like the bribe here, and I normally had, had hate bribes, because, 
you know, you, you're up against like, Ducky and you like lose TV down. Yeah, but now it's on defense and now you're 1-1 one, one, and you're mm -hmm. giving up a drive to make a foul. Like, that's sure. not good. <laughs> this is now a shit foul, even though you're using your bribe and it's ostensibly good. Mm. You're putting four players on one player. You're right, yeah. And and you're just letting you know letting bad things happen to the rest of your team. These two are stunned. These two are stunned, and these four are over here. Like so, you know it's yeah. trade offs, isn't it? So so like the first drive had gone so well, mm -hmm. that like and like ears are up against it. Like you know, I don't think anybody anybody is feeling good about their chances when they're 500 TV down versus Ducky in a mirror. You know, like that's for sure, for sure. It's his team was way better. He's almost certainly going to be a better coach than anyone's playing, and even if he isn't better, it's very fucking close, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So like, yeah, hundred percent. No one's no one's got that much of an advantage over Ducky. Even if anyone does have an advantage, if anyone has an advantage over Ducky in coaching, <laughs> even if they do, the advantage mm -hmm. is not going to be enough to make up for the disparity in teams. Yes, yeah. certainly not. On the day, people can play better, obviously, as well. Um, yeah, but you know. Who knows? So, Who I, knows how good was, anyone is? I was curious about this, whether he's going to pick up. I suppose with the, the fact that there's a skink back means that he does decide that it's worth picking up with the uh, the edge skink. But yes. there is a wizard in play, so might have been a pause here. There's a fireball to take three skinks down, which would be pretty good. But oh no, he's not. He's got a gap, so um, it's not that great a foul. Going to put in the foul really early here, I think. Um, with the placement yeah. of that skink. Yeah. So yeah, obviously the the pressure was too great, wasn't it? He had to, yeah, he felt he had to pick up with the edge four, even though he's exposing it to the bolt. Yeah. So yeah, I think the foul comes in super early here. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a bribe. Bribes mm -hmm. never fail. You're right. And then it means he can reposition everyone. So like, uh, you know, exactly. you either do it early or you don't do it. So you might as well yeah. do it early. You've got a bribe. Being, being able to get everybody back around and whatnot mm. is pretty tasty. You're gonna have to get lucky to win, so you've got to try and mm -hmm. you've got to try to get lucky. He still wants to make this foul. This is a bit of an overcommitment on the left-hand side so. still. But the ball is all the way over on the left as well, so it's going to be tricky to try to make a huge amount of progress. I mean, he can Ooh. get to that the line, which I suppose is all he needs to do, right? Yeah, it's like it's just it's just a classic overcommit. You know, there's mm -hmm. really no need to have this many people over here. So yeah, yeah. And especially versus lizards, where they can move so so rapidly from one sideline yeah. to sideline, um, that is just a huge overcommit. But like, not that it really matters. Obviously, he can reposition as well. Lord, but yeah. still, it's just, no, it's just this is like a classic, a classic um, mistake that people make. It's just, it's just overcommitting like this. For Merry Crimbo Jizzes. Get ready to give cyanide lots Almost of money ever, in 2023. Right? If it's, so if it's turn 16, no do it to stop a score. But mostly there's just no need. It's probably because he wants to create another foul. So he wants to have them look like they're stopping the score. Which really they're just waiting yeah. to foul. And no, thank you very much, all, Rubinho uh, BB. Sorry for that. Staying fantastic for nine glorious months. And uh, thank you very much, Jizzers. J I think that was meant to be Jimmers. I hope it was meant to be Jimmers and not Jizzers. But um, <laughs> thank you very much, Rubinho. And uh, yeah, glorious. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> uh, the quality of that player that he is putting the, the fouls in on is pretty spectacular. And like you say yourself, though, the I mean, the fact that Lizards can reposition very quickly does mean that it's... Um, you know, it, it's up. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty bad. Oh, foul. that's an MNG as well. MNG, so, yeah. yeah. So, down to five Saurus next round. Should he get through? All those fouls and no removal, then a couple of bats, and yeah. it's looking horrific yeah. for Ducky again. Yeah. yeah. Now he has to abandon this guy, or maybe just one assist foul him. Yeah, okay. I don't hear this. Do the one assist mm -hmm. foul, and then get these two out of no, dodge. Sure, yeah. else, right? I don't like going behind the ball. Uh, no, I guess he's got the wizard. Right he's got players, the wizard. But it's, it's the wizard and the fact that he's. I mean, the, the, they're still skinks, and the ball's he been carried be, on his best yeah. player. And yes, he should. So, just small little mistakes. Mm. The weakest guy on the outside as well. I suppose he's inviting the fact that he can come through that square though, because um, he has to go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. No, oh, yeah, yes. He might not be able to get everybody else through as well as he would like. Good enough, though. It looks. 
Yeah, I mean, there's always a dice on the ball, right? Um, because he's got skinks. And he's got a wizard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does. Wizzy. He's got a wizzy, but look, imagine if this guy was back mm. here. Mm. <laughs> Looks sense. loads better, doesn't it? It really does. I hated that move. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. bonehead. Go for the 1D. Ooh. Wow. Disgusterous. Mm -hmm. Disgusterous 4 plus from the duckster. Yeah. And that's a lot better now because that was a uh... fireball. Oh, not even a ball. Wow. Wow. It was a very straightforward uh, blitz in there with the break tackle, but uh, decides to head against it. Well, he hasn't done huh. it yet. Well, he, unless he's going to break tackle in the front. He's got two. Bre he's got break tackle tackle. So. Oh, there we go. So that guy just comes through the front then, does he? Yeah, and fails. And throw a reroll in. It's just a three plus, right? Uh, four plus, rather. Four plus, yeah. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent to get in. Uh, I don't know how you don't oh, fireball or. Uh, yeah, with a fireball, hundred percent all day. Yeah. Gosh, you know, maybe he thought that he didn't need it because it was just a 75% to get in and hit the ball on 2D. Mm. Uh, so thought that the, he might be able to use the fireball if if he can always use the fireball later. But um, yeah, he just scores for it. Ooh, he doesn't score. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Skaven 404, a mishmash of Mr. Page and Chunter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the mixed race factions in Blood Bowl Three. Well, I like, I like, oh. I like the Chaos Pack because or Renegades because it's Chaos All Stars and they're from Second Edition Blood Bowl. I hate <laughs> Old World Alliance because it's stupid <laughs> <laughs> and it has no place in Blood Bowl. So, there so they're recognised. Uh, welcome along, Skaven Four Hundred Four. Uh, they are recognised. Uh, those teams are in the main rulebook for the game. They're tabletop teams. Uh, Wizard does come in, uh, does get the stun as well, um, but you might think it's a little too late. Yeah, because yeah. this is a lot in the, the way, but I mean, he can still get recovery. through. He can, but his recovery is going to work because the skink is Ooh. too geophised away, and that doesn't help. The guard could have just gone in. Well, no, that's not his player. Oh, yeah, and it's screened off yeah. totally. Oh, well, that's terrible. It yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible yeah. I was thinking this was Zedok's player. Yeah, <laughs> right. this just looks doesn't yeah. look very good from oh. Ducky, but no, it's completely yeah, no, strong. It was way too late. It's yeah. Really, really strong. Um, yeah, he had to do with the turn yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to do so, with the turn uh, before, and he had to not send that skink up there when he sent it. Up. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so yes, to finish off that, it, they, both the, all the teams are the mixed race teams, as you say, are in the main rulebook. They are tabletop teams. And uh, they, they're, they're teams that people play and have been playing for a while, uh, with the exception of Old World Alliance. So um, <laughs> Underworld got a big, uh, ink, got a big buff uh, as a result of their sprue-based design. Um, Old World Alliance are pretty weird, uh, but are kind of fine in, in certain events. But they're they're pretty shit team. Um, and uh, uh, Chaos Pact have been around forever uh, on the tabletop scene, just not available in Blood Bowl Two. So most of us are quite used to that. If uh, you're familiar uh, with uh, playing Blood Bowl 2, the computer game, you'll notice that there you can create mixed teams in that, and those are broken and terrible. Yes, uh, they are. They are not good teams. Well, I so, mean, they're very good teams. That's the. <laughs> oh well, yeah, the, that's the yeah. So they they were made up specifically for that, as opposed to uh, the game, the ones that are in Blood Bowl 3, which are uh, official Games Workshop tabletop teams. Yes, and they're rubbish. It's f funnily enough, the, the, the Games Workshop made up ones are actually bad teams, whereas the yeah. Blood Bowl 2 mixed race teams were incredibly overpowered. But yes. then, you know, but that's okay, right? If everyone has access yeah. to them, everyone has access to yeah, them. Exactly. So if you want to allow them, then it's fine. Uh, we I had good fun love. making the best teams possible in Blood Bowl 2. Uh, we had a right. league, and. Uh, yeah. Everybody had a go to right? Which I won. Um, no, not every. Uh, no, yeah, everyone. Oh, had sure. Depended on. Depended on. Everybody, depended on everybody had got a runner. No, not everybody. No, Cybernite. Cybernite didn't have got runners. He had. He had Bretonians and High Elves. Oh, cool. Mm, so like natty yeah, one turners from the superior, High Elves. Superior, superior races, I think. And yeah, called. well, Bretonians are pretty good when you get to give them like six stats. You know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? Hmm. Yeah, really fun. We did not choose chaffs with a gutter. We we went. Uh, I, well, my, my I'm sh I'm I'm pretty confident that my team was the best team, uh, and it was like four chaos warriors, 
with strength six and tentacles and stuff. Three big yep. guys with tentacles, and Ooh. then uh, you know four gutters and uh, four claw pommers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Sounds pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, exactly. Uh, Fold yet again. That's the uh, that was my point. That they're not actually new. They're they're teams that we've been playing for a long, long time. OWA yes. are new. OWA were only released uh, at the end of uh, the 2016 rules. Uh, I think they came out in 2019, wasn't it? Uh, mm. So they're very, very new race. Uh, they announced that at the same time they announced the changes that they were making to um, Underworld. Yeah, uh, Underworld for anybody who's about to play Blood Bowl Three are fantastic. As it turns out giving a team a gutter runner is uh, makes that team very good. What was hilarious is all the idiots said, "Oh, not as good now. They've lost a blitzer." Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they, well, you've got a gutter runner. Have you played Blood Bowl before? Do <laughs> 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 you don't know what a fucking gutter runner is? <laughs> in uh, in twenty sixteen, the loss of the extra claw palm was a pretty big deal, and you had most of those people were used to playing it on CCL as well, where claw palm was key. Yeah, they're so, still fucking idiots if you think getting a gutter runner is, is a bad deal for anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the... I guess, I guess dropping a war dancer from, from, from Wood Elves for a, for a gutter yeah. runner would be a bad deal. But Maybe, literally yeah. every other team in the game, getting a gutter runner is an upgrade. <laughs> and it's a gutter runner plus as well, yes. And it's a it superior is, yeah. gutter runner. Because it gets uh, mutations access. Yeah. yeah. Not strictly better because it does have um, animosity, right? Uh, it does, uh, yes, it does, uh, against, but not to the rats. No, but to is, the goblins. That matters, but to the goblins, yes. Yeah, so it's not completely strictly better, that's the thing. No. no. But I mean, it is. Uh, it is, but you know. <laughs> yeah. It is, but it's not. But you know, that's what—that's the definition of strictly better, right? Is that it's better yeah. completely. Uh, by the way, we just missed that Zetok has a scoring drive here, but he's—he's he's not he does, too much, yeah. is he? Uh, like, no, because he didn't really uh, put a huge amount in. And uh, was that his break tackle guy that went there? Mm, yeah, probably. don't know why he wanted to go in and hit that Turn player. Turn fifteen. Oh, he... I guess he had to try and something to get through. Had to try to hit the second guy. Oh, because because the agility guy has DT. He needed to get the DT out. Yeah, this was a bit of an anemic drive. You have yeah. to do a lot better than this. I know he's, he's lost a couple of skinks, but yeah. um, any yeah, you know, which, which is really there. bad, right? Really bad. He hasn't yeah. got many skinks, but he needed yeah. to not have two in the backfield. Like, well, you know, you've got to you've got to push it. Right? <laughs> It's tricky because you've got the, you know, you have to pick up the balls, give it to the other guys, that so the other guy can get through the range, blah, 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 blah. It's tricky, so, but you can't have two back. Uh, agreed. You just, you just uh, can't. You've got to plow everything forward, like, you've, you've got mm -hmm. to, you, this was, this was a very, very bad drive. Yep. So, uh, he hasn't got any scoring range, scoring threats, so that's that. Uh, yeah, no, you fell with the snarlings, yeah, because they get sneaky gear. Underworld does have snotlings, yep. The it's, Underworld gets snotlings, yeah. And they were completely overpowered at first when they got snotlings, which I called correctly, of course, having never played. I was like, oh my god, this is insane. They get fucking snotlings. What are everybody thinking? This is this is like ridiculously completely overpowered. And then they won up loads of tabletop tournaments and they were like, oh, people are like, oh, wow, it turns out having 14 players on the pitch is quite good. <laughs> wow. I'm glad we had a play test this to find out. <laughs> right. Um, there you go. Anyway, congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Zetok. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty decent game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit. I think were, so, yeah. Yeah, there was it. It was a close game. It was a close game, and the the damage to lizards always. You know, lizards, lizards are always fragile, right? They're like they're so strong, they're so unbelievably strong, but they're also like super fragile at the same time, with yeah. it, aren't they? It's a it's a strange balance. The, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it, it was part of the conversation we were having earlier in uh, Rumbad's chat was, uh, and the reason I invited Physic over to have a look at it is that, um, so the idea of being able to just go for the skinks and being able to get removals on skinks. Skinks are much tougher than everybody expects. Uh, unless you're hitting them with block and tackle, you're not as likely to put them, get them on the ground because they're stupid survivable. You need to be three dicing them a lot to be able to put them on the ground. And even then, just because they're stunted, you still have to roll above an eight and above an eight to do anything to them. So, um, whereas you tend to be stuck in combat with the lizards a lot, so at high TV, or with the saurus a lot, so at high TV you're kind of able to pick on them. And once you manage to get uh, the ball rolling on getting the saurus off the pitch, things get a lot easier for you. Because yeah. um, So, you know, it, it, it is easier. Lizards are harder to play when they have no skink, when they have no saurus. 
their um, skinks can still do shit. And if you get rid of the Saurus, then they're not able to protect the skinks, and then you can take care of the skinks pretty well. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You see, all these, all these people on on Reddit always mock Reddit, saying, you know, just kill the skinks, and it's like, well, first of all, you can't just kill them, and second of all, you know, your opponents like stopping you actively protects their skinks and stuff, don't they? A lot of the time, or they'll hang out a skink when it costs you position to go for it and stuff. So like. There's a lot of play to it. You've just got to play a blood, good blood ball at the end of the day. There's no, there's no like you know one, no snappy one liner is going to make you better at blood ball. So, no. so the way to beat some lizard vet is to be better at blood ball. And uh, there you go. And in this case, Zetok had to not only play good but also roll good, and because uh, yeah. he was down a lot, and he did, he did get some good rolls. But um, did, you know, but ultimately, really, yeah, didn't really put the keep the the, the 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 foot on the throat in the first half, which I think was a little bit of a mistake. And, yes, uh, I think you should have definitely. That gave him like that. That was a, the exact situation that having the bribe, like bribe, is always mm. win more. I feel you know because to be able yep. to use the bribe, you have to get up. You have to be able. You have to get ahead in the match to use a bribe, pretty much. And that's why I hate it because I'm usually behind. But this game, the only way he was gonna win was by getting lucky and getting ahead, and then getting to use the bribe. So I actually like. One of the rare occasions where I think I would have taken a bribe, just because mm-hmm. you're you're so up against it. It was such a hard match, and he you're got the bit of luck, and then he, rolling. yeah, and he didn't push it. So there you go. Uh, yeah. So right, that's it. Um, Great game, really fun. Well, well played both sides. Yeah. Right, uh, and so yeah, indeed, indeed. So, commiserations, Zitok. Great to see you, in Chalice. And uh, yeah. thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>